Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to move your iPhoto library to another drive and why you may not want to. Now, moving your iPhoto library is not as complex as moving an iTunes library because you don't have many choices. The iPhoto library is one single file. It's actually a package, and you could put that anywhere you want. But it all stays together so you don't have many choices about putting some things in one place and some things in another. Let me show you. So here I am in my home folder and under my home folder I have pictures. And there you can see I've got something called iPhoto Library. And this is the default location for your iPhoto Library. It's a single file. It's actually a package and you can look in it if you want but I'm not going to go into that right now. You can move this anywhere you want. You can put it in another folder and you can move it to another drive. So for instance if I wanted to move it to my external drive and here I've got one with no files in it at the moment I can simply copy the entire thing there and it will copy all the photos everything associated with that iPhoto library. So now that that's done I've got two copies of that library. One in the original location and one in the old one. I can go back to this one later and delete it once I confirm this one is working fine. So now I'm going to launch iPhoto but I'm going to hold down the option key on my keyboard when I do it. So what will happen is instead of it just opening as normal I'm going to get presented with this dialog box here. And here's where I can select a different iPhoto library. Now I've got three here. The one that it would normally open. That's the one that we took the copy from. And I can look here and see I've, there's another one that is on the external drive which is the one that I just used. And it's called iPhoto library. That's the one we want. So I'm going to choose that one. And now it's going to open up iPhoto and it's going to have the same pictures that I saw before. So I can confirm that everything's OK and I can go through the photos. And once I know this one is fine I can delete the original. Just put it in the trash for now. Um, and then next time I launch iPhoto I'll quit it and I'll launch it again. It will know to go to that library. It won't ask me again unless I hold down the Option key. So that's all you need to do to move your entire iPhoto library to an external hard drive. Now there are things to think about when you're moving it there. One is speed. Typical speed for an internal hard drive inside of a computer, say an iMac, is about 3 gigabits per second. That's a transfer rate to get the files from your hard drive into your computer so you can see them. So to bring a photo onto the screen. So 3 gigabits per second, that's about 3,000 megabits per second. So remember that number 3,000. Now if you've got a USB 2 hard drive hooked up to your computer and you move the photo library there, the transfer rate across that USB cable is only going to be 400 megabits per second. So 400 versus 3000. Now iPhoto isn't the fastest program because it's showing you lots and lots of photos. So you're going to cut that speed considerably in half by about a seventh if you're going to move your library to an external drive. So if you have lots of photos and you're used to just scrolling through them fluidly you may find it doesn't work as well when it's on an external drive. Even worse a lot of people try to move their iPhoto library to a network drive. Now a network drive is going to be much slower. Somewhere between 50 and 100 megabits per second compared to the 3000 that you were getting when you had the iPhoto library on your internal drive. So moving to an external USB drive may be okay for you. Moving to a network drive probably is not going to work. Now a good option is to split up your iPhoto collection. Notice that I could have created a new library in addition to chosen one of those. So if you have a ton of photos but you find you really only access the one from your last trip or from the last year or two you can create multiple iPhoto libraries. Now it's hard to work with them because you have to switch libraries all the time. So if you want to access all your photos it's not a good idea. But say if you wanted to create a specific iPhoto library for a specific event or a big trip or one per year you could store older ones on an external drive or perhaps on your network and the current one, the one you're always accessing, on your internal drive where it's nice and fast. So I hope you like this look at how to move your iPhoto library to another location. Until next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.